everyone and welcome back to today's video i hope you are doing well i hope you're having an amazing weekend and if you are new to my channel my name is shebo thank you so so much for stopping by and i just want to say a huge thank you to my new subscribers as well for joining the family i really appreciate that and if you have been with me from day one i appreciate you i thank you you know who you are thank you so so much so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i created this look that's with my eyes of course using a g day sydney palette from essence i got a few comments from my last video asking me to do a look using this palette so if you are one of those people asked definitely this video is for you because that's what i'm doing showing you guys how i created the eye look using this palette so if you're interested if you are ready i'm ready let's get started all right, so I have already primed my eyelids using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade uh, number 40, which is this one here. Now I'm going to go ahead and start playing with this palette. So the first shade I'm going to take is this uh, deep brown shade, which is of course the, um, the darkest shade in the palette. So I'm taking this one here and just applying this one. Right. Um, right here. And I'm going to just pack it like that. However, you do get a lot of kickback. Um, you can see right there, lots of kickback coming from there. Um, let me try to build this shade just a little bit more. Somehow, it's not really giving me, you know, that kind of a wow that I'm looking for in a shade. Um, I don't know what's happening here, but yeah, you can see it's a little bit not really, you know, staying true to its color. You can see there. Um, yeah, this color is a little bit tricky, you guys. I am not sure if I'm actually digging it at all. You can see how this weirdness going on here you can see like at the end there it's almost like you know this beautiful um dark brown color but in the middle right here where i applied it it's just not look at that it's not really performing as i would like it to we're just gonna leave it like this because there's nothing else i can do i have already you know i did um prime my eyelids so I don't know why it is performing the way it is performing. And this is first time, by the way, me trying this uh, palette, of course, on my eyes. I've just done swatches. I am going to move on to probably another shade. Let's try um, this one right here, which is um, this lighter kind of brownie shade. It's a beautiful color too, but slightly lighter than the first one. So probably with this one here, we're going to have a little bit of... Of luck and just changing the brush let's do the different brush so I'm just going to take some like that and let's try this one I'm just going to buff this one above the first color Um, both of these shades um yeah hmm i'm not really having any luck at the moment but you know what we don't give up we're gonna continue um i'm just going to try and build it up a little bit more like i'm going to go back and forth uh on both colors so i'm going to go back to the darker color and try to build it a little because i want this to be a little bit more like you know uh, add a little bit more of uh, dimension to the eyes but the way they are looking those two colors i'm not really liking this so i'm going to go back and forth and try to build the two and see where we land so pray for my eyes taking the darker shade again trying to see how we can make this work Because we don't give up that easy. No, we don't. 
so here is how the eyes looks like so far you guys after some time of blending adding more colors and of course going back and forth uh and applying more colors and blending 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 this is how the eyes looks like and um i'm going to leave them like this because I tried to add as much color as I can, but this is where we are at the moment. I don't think you'll get anywhere, you know, better than this. So we'll stop right there with these two colors. Let's try something else. Um, and oh, by the way, let me quickly show you what has been happening in the pan so far. Um, you can see that both shades I've used, we do get quite some kickback in there just so you know in case that bothers you it's something to keep in mind um but anyway let's try to do something to the lid what can we do i am going to go ahead and cut crease i'm using um makeup revolution cut crease canvas which is of course this one here so oops i just dropped some of this on my eyeshadow Aha. You guys look at this. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to do it on purpose. I know this shade did not perform, but I did not mean to do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and try some shimmer shades. Maybe we're gonna have some luck. So let's find out. I'm taking this uh blue shade right here. So that's the shimmer shade, and I'm going to apply this one all over where I cut crease. So I'm just gonna use this mirror. Let's do that in. Oh, okay. The blue is. Oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about. Can you guys see how beautiful this shit? Yes, comes through pigmentation. Hello. Yeah, this color looks looks nice. Looks better. Definitely, it um, glides better compared to the uh, matte shades that I've used. Uh, this one, it's not too bad. And the color doesn't look, you know, weird or anything like that. It's a beautiful shade. Now I'm going to go back to this uh, shade over here, which of course I've used as a transition shade, and just clean up the edges. This is not how I imagined this look to look like. I had you know something else in mind but using exactly the same colors if you know what i mean uh but we are looking like this so we just have to roll with it and complete the look and see where we end up you know landing so more blending more blending and more blending because i just want this to be you know to look like a look i don't know what i'm trying to say here but yeah this is how we are looking at so far so what you are looking at here is of course me layering and layering and adding and adding and blending and blending and more layering and more colors uh so it's not just like you know a one go or twice or three times i put more than i can remember just to get it this color to look like this and usually i don't really do that um i prefer just in one go you get like wow this color is stunning but not with this one ah okay so what i'm going to do now is i want to add this beautiful green shade which is this one right here so i want to add this one um more like in the center uh, actually i'm going to use my finger for this that looks nice oh wow That looks beautiful. That's a nice combo there, by the way. You know what? I'm going to put um, a bit of powder underneath my eye because uh, we do have a bit of kickback here and I don't want... Oh, it's already messed up. Oops. Um, let me quickly do that. Otherwise, you know, my face will be looking crazy. Let's go back to the go back to the eyes um still going back to the same green 
adding that a little bit more and actually dragging towards this end i still want the blue to show i'll probably go back to the blue and just you know tied up the edges but for now the green is popping You can see, let me go ahead to the other eye. It is time to go back to the blue again. So we can bring this color back to life. And next up, I'm going to dip into this uh, white shade over here. I like when companies include a white shade in a palette because it means that if you applied too much uh, of the eyeshadows, you can always like turn it down using that. So this is quite nice. I'm going to take just a little bit from here. Um, just about that much maybe again kick back coming from there but and i'm going to apply this color just around here to kind of you know brighten up this section here now i'm going to go ahead and work on my bottom lash line and i'm going to try and use uh which shade should I go for? Because I want to try and match the top. So I think I'm going to go again with a lighter shade and then go to the darker shade. And then, of course, um, you know, end up with these two, you know, blue and the greens. Just so we can, you know, match the, the top. And yeah, I'll probably add a bit of this. I'm not sure, but we'll have a look. But let's play with those uh, four colors first and see. It's a good thing I did put uh, a powder because you can see what's happening over here. It's like I have all the, you know, the shimmers and everything just, you know, falling down. So that was a good thing because I already applied my base. So, yeah, I should learn not to do that. Like, do the, my eyes first and then apply my, you know, my foundation and concealer after. Because if this doesn't look good, it means I have to wipe them off and then reapply. And that's wasted dollar. Hello. So far, here is how the under eyes looks like just after using those two shades. So, um, these two browns over here, that's what I've used. And um, I think I'm not going to go with this blue over here because I want to try this one right here. So, now I'm going to take this. All right. So, here is how that color looks like. It's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, however, I do prefer the other ones, like the other two, the green and the blue, uh, you know, I prefer these two better than you know than this one somehow it's just me um but yeah now i am going to go in with the shimmer you know this color over here my brush is too wet so it's fine i don't have to you know spray again but i'm going to apply this one just underneath that color And next up, it's of course time to um, show some inner corners, some love. And I'm going to take this one over here because this one is of course not yet used. So I'm taking this shade and applying this one right in my inner corners. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Not my favorite color. Um, but it does, you know, uh, brighten up the inner corners, which is not too bad that you can see over here. So we'll give it some credit for that. I cannot believe I've used almost every shade in this palette. Uh, we only have one more shade to go. And I'm going to use this one here to highlight my brow bone. And that shade is, of course, this one over here. So that's how the eyes looks like with all those colors, you know, together. Pretty much every shade in this palette has been... Um, used to create this look that you see here so that is the complete eyes now i just have to touch up on this palette you guys because i do have quite a bit to say i do have the good side and the no good side to say about the palette as you guys know i do love essence cosmetics and i use their product a lot i do have quite a few of their eyeshadows palette and you know in other bits of their you know their product now with this palette here it did not really impress me as much as I expected it to um, because of number one of course we have the uh, matte shades in this palette which I don't really live for I don't like the way they performed and I just it's they're just not for me to be honest because I had to lay them over and over and over to even get you know this kind of payoff and usually that does not happen with you know a lot of my palettes even if I have to lay them it it, you know, usually I don't take as long time to do as I did with this palette here. So, yeah, 
definitely the mud was just like eh, nah not for me um of course i'll probably say this one here the white shade i like the fact that they have included that one in there because you know for example if you are using even like a different palette and you find you put too much on the darker shade you can always take a white shade and you know kind of um even things up and just you know make it a little bit more brighter which i love so i love the fact that they have the white shade in there but you know all the matte shades yeah not for me on this palette here but on the good side we do have some shimmers in here which i love of course you know you can see especially these two shades over here the green and the blue those are absolutely gorgeous stunning on the eyes super pigmented which i love and even this one here it's not too bad this one eh, not so much it's okay but it doesn't really you know like wow me wow me but these two shades over here which is the blue and the green those one definitely it's something that i'll reach for you can see over here how they look like so stunning gorgeous um if you have used this palette you guys if you have this palette and you have used it you love it then uh you know i guess it just you know performs different um you know uh, from eye to eye but my experience based on you know what i've seen today trying this palette uh definitely the mats yeah definitely they just did not cut it for me um so that's where we land with this video today um with that being said you guys essence they do have lots of other palettes that um crave about and i use them a lot in my videos and even off camera as well i do use those a lot uh if you guys want me to do like um essence eyeshadow palette like my best eyeshadows from them let me know down below because i can definitely uh put that video together for you guys to see uh the one that i would definitely recommend from essence cosmetics but I hope you guys found this video useful and I'm going to have everything that I've used listed down below uh, for this video so you can check out what I've used for my blush, for my highlight and for, you know, for my lips as well. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful and um, I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next one. Take care for now. Bye.